Alright, so I'll be back. This is your boy Jackson. D Jackson. And I hope y'all like my new digs that brought y'all into my house. If y'all here with me, welcome to my new home. And if you're new to this whole shit dig, welcome. I appreciate you checking us out. And if you're here from last year, welcome back. Alright, so in this episode, we're gonna talk about the draft. Jags are picking number 24, which is a good thing. You know what I mean? We're not going to get the top of the draft like we had the last couple of years. So that means that we had a good year last year. Making it to the playoffs, winning the game, and then going into the uh, the second round of the playoffs. And we almost pulled it out. It was a, a drama-filled game. A lot of mistakes on our end. But being that we're still rebuilding and we finally got our quarterback, I'll take it for the first year under Coach Doug Peterson and all his uh, staff. So let's hop right into it. With the 24th pick, me personally, I feel like the Jags need to get more stout at the uh, pass rushing. But uh, our dire need, the one thing we need for sure, for sure, is a, a nickelback, cornerback type situation. And there's plenty of guys on the board that fit that bill that will be able to handle those responsibilities for the 2023 season and going forward in the future of the Jags. One player in particular I've been hearing a lot of good things about is Alabama safety, Brian Branch. Now he's uh six foot tall and what I'm from what I'm hearing he can he can switch back and forth between safety and nickel with no problem. He's not afraid to get in there and get his get get a hit get a hat on the hat and make a tackle for on a running back or somebody like that. Another player that has has uh been slated to still be on the board when the Jaguars pick is South Carolina's Cam Smith. And he's also had a visit to the Jaguars facility, and uh, the Jags get to have 30 visits, and he was one of them uh, pre-draft to the facility to talk to the coaches and do a little bit more interviewing before the um, draft night. And uh, the thing that's special about this guy is he's a ball hawk. He's really fast, running a 4-4-3 at the combine, 38-inch vertical, 11-foot, 2-inch uh, broad jump. So I think he will also be a really good fit here in Jacksonville help out that secondary get a little bit better coverage another position of need but i don't think that we will draft in the first round is offensive line we have to replace Jawan taylor even though we have walker little and uh cam on the other side i feel like we still need to bolster that side of the line for depth you know what i mean so look out for jazz going for offensive lineman and one other thing i was really concerned about is uh and we have to wait till July to see if it's coming to pass. But the Jaguars have franchise tag um, Evan Ingram on a one-year deal at about $14 million, something like that. But I'm hoping and praying that they can get him a long-term deal done. Because we really need Evan to, for, for Trevor to have Evan as a, as a great weapon going forward. They both love each other. Their chemistry is, is, is amazing. And uh, he's definitely a weapon that we need to keep around here. Like him not signing that, that uh, franchise tag, I'm hoping it's not a negative spat going on between the team and him because he wants a long-term deal and i'm hoping that he, they can get this worked out but hey man that's it for me a little short little pre-draft just going over the first pick and i'll be back after the draft to go over all the picks after the draft is over man y'all take it easy man it's your boy jackson d jackson and please subscribe to the channel follow us on all our socials which can be found below and y'all take it easy man we go